Hello and welcome to Summer Sparkling Good Time. And this is Diamond Painting Summer School 2023 Lesson 4 Art History. Okay, on our agenda for today is what is art theft, why it matters, how to avoid art theft, public domain and stock images, how to do a reverse image search. That's basically what we're going over. First things first, this is my disclaimer. It is entirely your decision which artwork from which companies you decide to purchase from. I'm not here to shame you. I'm not going to here to put you down. I, I, don't, I don't care what you do. But when I first started diamond painting, I didn't know this was even a thing. So I didn't know that I should avoid it or that I, I, I might want to avoid it or that I didn't know it was a thing. And so I sure as heck didn't know how to avoid it. So this lesson is just to ensure you are aware of the issue. Why you might be hearing so much about it on different channels and how you can avoid participating in it is if you decide you want to avoid it. Now, a lot of times you're going to see creators not want to do anything with soul artwork work because if an artist comes back and puts a copyright claim on their channel, you, <clears throat> excuse me, YouTube only gives you three, three strikes, three strikes you're out and they will take your channel. You're done. So for creators, it is very, very important. So if you are looking at possibly wanting to have a channel in the future, or you have one now, or you're a budding channel, this is really good, useful information to have. If you are just a hobbyist and you're on a fixed income, or you just don't care, it's entirely up to you. None of my business. I'm not, I'm not here to judge. I'm not, this is just informative. So you know, if you want to know, if you don't care, you can don't even have to watch this video I'm, I, I, but i am not the police i am not your mama i'm none of that this is just an informative little thing so you know okay what is art theft regarding diamond painting when you hear creators or artists discussing art theft what they're referring to is companies taking an artist's intellectual property or their artwork without gaining the artist's consent nor do the companies who are engaging in the art theft compensate slash pay the artists for the use of their artwork. The companies just basically scour the internet for images, regardless of ownership, save them to their own files, and then start mass producing diamond paintings from the stolen artwork. And you see this very, very rampant through uh, diamond painting companies the, um, such as DIY Choose, Fan Cells, um, Ecubis, uh all of the budget sites, you're going to see stolen artwork. It just is what it is. Why are we even discussing this? We're discussing this because art theft is a huge problem in the craft industry. It's not just diamond painting. It is all over the craft industry. I have not been to a budget site yet where I didn't see, obviously, a stolen artwork. Like, it's, it's, it's everywhere. Okay. But if it's not licensed, it doesn't count. From the moment of creation. By anyone in the United States, unless they're under contract as an artist for, say, Disney or Warner Brothers, etc., the artwork is their intellectual property. Now, like, say, someone like Mandy Manzano, she now works for Disney. So, Disney owns her artwork, her intellectual property that she produces for them. So, that's why I'm saying, unless they're under contract. So, if Mandy uh, paints some mm, an image for, say, Marvel, right? And um, all of a sudden, it's licensed over on Diamond Art Club. It's licensed through Marvel. It's not licensed through Mandy. Okay? So it won't have her name on it. It will have Marvel because they own that intellectual property because she's working for them. Okay? Now, only the artist or the copyright holder has the right to grant permission to someone else to reproduce that intellectual property for monetary gain. There's like all these little exceptions about copyright for like personal use. If you're using it for satire, um, changing it up somewhat it has to be like a certain percentage depending on where you're at in the world. Um, if you're using it for like educational purposes, there's just all these little caveats, right? Um, but to actually take that exact replica, reproduce it and get monetary gain for it, that is copyright infringement. Okay. Now. People who own the copyright, so either the artist or the company, they do have the right to forfeit their copyright 
Jasmine Beckett Griffith is a very good example of this. I'll go into that on the later slide. Okay. And they can also sell their rights to the artwork. We'll go into that on another slide. But it is their property. So until they decide to forfeit or sell it, or normally um, after so many years or so many years uh, past their death, they own that intellectual property. Okay. Now, Due to the rampant art theft, some artists have opted to refuse to license their artwork with any DP company. When I say DP, I'm saying Diamond Painting Company um, anymore because they did a licensing agreement with the company. Their artwork was then advertised like, hey, this is awesome, come buy it. It was licensed. But then the budget companies saw the pieces, stole the images off the internet, and started mass producing them. And now that artist is a victim of art theft. And is now refusing to license with any company. That is their right. Okay. Also included in if it's not licensed, it doesn't count. A lot of artists cannot afford to go after these companies legally due to the high cost of research, obtaining proof, and the actual court proceedings. The large companies such as Disney have the budget and resources to go after the art thieves and have even started targeting small shops on Etsy. Um, it was just in the news not too long ago. Like Etsy shops were getting taken down left and right and getting sued, cease and desist letters. It got ugly. There is also an issue with jurisdiction as different countries have different copyright laws and regulations. It makes it very complicated to have um, companies in foreign countries. Like, it's really hard for an artist here in America to sue a company in, say, China where most diamond painting kits are produced because the, the, the laws are different. Okay? Then what images can I buy? Okay, so first things first, we have licensed artwork. This is artwork that has been licensed to the diamond painting company for them to sell. They have paid the artist or the company who owns that copyright for the right to sell it. This involves a contract with the artist or, copy, ugh, or copyright holder granting the company permission to use the artwork and they also receive payment in kind. So. Uh, I discussed it before, and I'll say this again. Some artists get a percentage of, so of sales. Some artists say, okay, for commercial use, um, you can do up to 500 copies of it for X amount of dollars. There's different type of contracts, but if it's licensed artwork, it's going to have a contract. Okay? Public domain images. Public domain images, these are not under copyright anymore. One example is Jasmine Beckett Griffith. She has launched a public domain project. It's, I think it's called the Strangling Public Domain something. Um, and she's releasing her right to some, not all, some of her artwork to try to combat art thrift from a different direction. She said, I can't go after everybody who's doing this to me because she is one of the biggest victims you see out there. Um, she's like, so if I eliminate it as a crime, so she's just, she's going a completely different direction and it's, she's said it on her website as well. Like, you know, this is basically a research thing to see if it works. Okay. Also art created before 1928 in the United States falls into the public domain as of 2023. It's going to change next year to 1929. Okay. Other countries have different rules. One common one you see is it has to be 70 years after the artist's death. That's pretty common in multiple countries that I looked up. But each country can have different rules. Okay. And then we have stock images. These are images that tend to be somewhat generic that weren't created for a specific project, but are sold to companies to then resell. You normally see these kind of images in marketing, websites, book, color, blah, blah, book covers, calendars. Just They're just generic images. Anybody can go buy them. Um, you can find them on Shutterstock, Pixabay, Adobe, Dreamstime. Um, they're all over. I mean, you just type in stock images and there'll be a ton. And like, um, I don't remember there's a, like Fabrica creative or creative Fabrica or something like that. It's another site where you can actually get like better art. I think like it's actually artwork and not like just photographs or whatnot, but there's companies you can go get stock images. You can check whatever, but there are stock images. Sometimes when you're looking at the budget sites, you can tell a stock image. You can tell. Okay, so how do we avoid art theft? If you see a diamond paint kit and you know it is from a movie, 
a television show, a franchise, etc., you can pretty much guarantee, with very few exceptions, that the artwork is stolen. Now, some diamond painting companies do have licensing agreements with Warner Brothers, Disney, Marvel, etc., but the cost of the kits will reflect that, and you will only find them at premium diamond painting companies and not budget sites. So if you're over there on fan sales and you're looking at a Mickey Mouse painting for $5, you're probably looking at stolen artwork. So if you want to avoid participating in art theft, don't purchase those images from budget sites. Now, there is a small exception to some of the stuff. It's called fan art. I'm not going to go into it because different people have very different views on if fan art falls under copyright. And I cannot get a definitive answer because multiple legal sources I researched had differing opinions. So we're just not going to go on that. And you can use your own best judgment on if you want to buy fan art or not. Okay. Um, another way to avoid participating. I cannot talk. Another way to avoid participating in art theft is to conduct a reverse image search. So you go to fan sales, you find an image, you want to see if it's licensed or stolen. It's if it's not. There's very little licensed artwork on the budget sites. It's just they're mostly done in countries that don't have the copyright laws that are nearly as stringent as the U.S. Okay, I'm gonna give you the instructions on this next slide, on the next slide, and then I'm gonna. Uh, switch over to uh actual the internet instead of the um what is this called powerpoint and we'll go over it i am going to be using fan sales as the budget company because they might be the the, the kings of the stolen artwork I'm, it, it's just easy okay so how to do a reverse image search this is extremely easy to do if you're running a chrome as your browser you're just going to find the picture you want to check Right click on the image, select search image with Google, and a sidebar will open on the right side of your screen. Okay, you're gonna search through and see if you can find any links to sites like Zazzle, puzzle companies, other premium diamond painting companies, etc., or even the artist's website or social media accounts. Now, you need to search through multiple pages, pages of results to do an adequate research. I mean, some images you um the longer you get into diamond painting the more artists work you're going to recognize instantly like if i see a randall springer i know it's a randall springer if i see an ivy dome more there's a pretty good idea i'm gonna know it's an ivy if it's a cheryl baker you're gonna know it's a cheryl baker okay so we're gonna go down here let me open up my web browser okay so we're at fan cells right okay right here now, this I see everywhere. I'm pretty sure that this is a stock image. I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure it's a stock image because I've seen it on merchandise everywhere. This right guy right here, he's a minion. He's owned by someone. That would be stolen. Gremlins, what just happened? So, <laughs> most likely stolen, stolen, stolen. Okay? You can just take it to the bank. Now you're getting into some of this stuff that you're like, hmm, I don't know. Gnomes are normally safe. Winnie the Pooh, stolen. Dumbo, stolen. Cheshire Cat, mini, stolen. This is probably, I'm, I would be bet money that's stolen, okay? So, Spider-Man, stolen. Beauty and the Beast, stolen. Mm-hmm. Are you with me? So, as we come down here, I already had some set up, so it was real easy. Looney Tunes, stolen. Okay. Tom and Jerry, stolen. But, like, this, this is most likely a stock image, like, it's generic, if that makes sense. Okay. Down here, Cheshire Cat, stolen. Uh, what's his name? Stitch, stolen. Hufflepuff, stolen. Lady and Tramp, stolen. That might be fan art. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure the artist is not getting compensated. So, this stock image. This pink bicycle in front of the building, most likely a stock image. Okay. Now, now that we're down here, you see these beautiful little turtles? They look familiar to anyone? I'm going to show you how I did it. So to get there, I right-clicked it. Now, if you look all the way down the bottom, it says search image with Google. It's going to pop up on the right. Now, to get to this next screen, I just clicked on this. Okay. Now, let me go back to where I was because I had it all lined up. So, as I was scrolling down, if you see, I've come down quite a ways. I saw this right here. 
Turtle Guardian 1000 piece jigsaw. That is a big tip off that this is a licensed image. If I click on this, it's going to take me to this series puzzles, right? Turtle Guardian 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle by Suns Out. Okay. So then I went over here and did the Suns Out, blah, 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 right? So uh, I can tell that. Oh, right here. Uh, Amazon.com sends out ink Turtle Guardian 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle by artist Steve Sendrum. That is stolen artwork. This guy, this is stolen artwork. Okay. So now over here as well. This one I did, I think I did this lady right here. This lady, you see her all the time. She's a beautiful image. Beautiful image. Do the reverse Google search. You're going to see this all over the place. See this Zazzle? Red Orange Canvas Print by Daniel Lawlick. This is stolen artwork. I have seen this on so many channels. I almost bought this so many times because it's a beautiful diamond painting. It is. And you're more than welcome to purchase whatever you want. Like I said, it's it, it's... It's it's on it's it's totally your 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 call. Just know what you're doing. That that's what this video is about. Just so you know, Pikachu he's licensed, so he is he's stolen. Tigger, um, this whole Disney thing that's stolen. So uh, the, the reverse image search is fairly simple. I'm gonna do one more. Um, let's see this one. So search image with Google pops open on the right. This is too little for me, so I always click this little square with the up arrow, open a new tab. And I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to go down. So Amazon. So now I'm seeing this college magazine using it, making me think, yep, still it's going to be a stock image, right? I, I, you just look at it and say you know you can kind of you're gonna get you're gonna get a a feel for it okay adobe.com this makes me think this is adobe stock image like i said i thought this was a stock image let's go look yep it's an adobe stock image nope it's slightly different isn't it it's different right it's not the same one it's different okay Let's keep looking then. So you have to look because another thing that some of the companies will do is they will change the colors so it's not identical. Okay. But as I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm not seeing. Now I also always do this find image source and check this as well just to make sure. I don't know why that's on SoundCloud, but. Oh, look, Diamond Art Club ad. So I can download this as wallpaper for my computer. Hmm. But like I said, it looked a lot like a stock image, which is very, very possible. And, and you're just, you're, you're going to get a feel for it. The more, the more you look, the more you're going to get a feel for it. It just is what it is. What does Oloe? But this one is reading to me as a stock image. Just based on where I'm seeing it used, how I'm seeing it used. Yep. That's what I would assume based on this search result. Okay. So that's how you do the reverse, the reverse image search. It's not that difficult. It just takes a little bit of time. 
And like, I, I would love to do this canvas. And like, where's she at? Where's she at? She's down here. Because I've seen this canvas done. It's breathtaking. Breathtaking. And it's what, $3.80? So I can understand. I'm not sure if I'd love it as a 30 by 40, because you know that means it's going to be a 25 by 35. But I know it's still an artwork. I know that I know that I know. So I have to make the decision, am I going to participate in art theft or am I not? I know that I know that I know this is still an artwork, right? Anything you see that is like, a, what, it's on TV, it's on the movies, it's, you take it to the bank, almost. Now, there are some exceptions. Diamond Art Club, they have um, licensing agreements with Warner Brothers and Marvel. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's the one with the diamond art has um, licensing agreement with Disney. So you can find it. Um, you just need to understand you're going to pay more. You are going to pay more for uh, licensed artwork. Okay, let me get this back over here. So thank you for watching. I'm sorry this is a very boring topic. I know this is a very controversial topic. I, and like I said, I, I, I'm not trying to be nobody's mama. I'm just telling you, I didn't know when I started. I didn't know. And then when I found out, I was like, oh, snap. Because I am an artist. I, I sculpt, I paint. I, and I didn't know this was such an issue. I didn't realize that. I just, I didn't know. And this entire diamond painting summer school is geared for new diamond painters. So this is all the stuff I wish I would have known when I first started diamond painting. That that's what this whole school is about. The the tutorial program. It's what did I wish I would have known and what would have saved me money? Because I ended up giving away a lot of kits that after I found out about it, I didn't feel good about. And that was my personal choice. No. I'm still buying from budget companies. I'm just more particular about what I buy. I spend a little bit more time doing research before I press add to cart. Um, because I do have a very large premium kit stash. Um, it's, it's pretty large. Um, but I have since figured out that I also like some smaller kits because um, just for variety, for traveling, um, it just it makes it makes more sense to have a variety of options. I'm just more particular about which options I get and where I get them from now. So that being said, if you would not mind, go ahead and boot my snoot on the way out and share this video. If you have uh, know of other newbie diamond painters who might not know about this, um, there's a there's an entire series. Um, it started in uh, June. It's going to go all the way through July. Uh, it's called Diamond Painting Summer School. Just look for the beach background with the black ch black chalkboard. That will let you know it's a Diamond Painting Summer School 2023 course. Um, they come out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I don't remember which one's next. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any other advice to new diamond painters about avoiding art theft or... Uh, places where they can find affordable uh, art pieces that aren't blatant art theft. Um, and if you haven't already and you want to, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join us over here. Um, we are in the middle of a giveaway. So this video is going up on... Where's my calendar? Where is my calendar? Thursday the something. This video is going up... Why? I can never find anything on this phone. Uh, this video is going up Thursday, the 29th. Um, the video from yesterday on Wednesday, the 28th, will have the giveaway information. In. If you have not seen that, you might want to pop on over there and watch that. And uh, if you do that, you can get entered to win a uh, in the giveaway prize. And that's going to be open until next week. And then I will draw a random winner. All right. I hope you all have a lovely day. I thank you for watching. And until next time, I love you. Bye-bye.